All right, boo. So apparently this person had high hopes when they decided to come towards you here for some sort of reconciliation or to get back into your energy, to get your acceptance, whatever it may be. They really set their hopes very high, okay? And so it sucks because you had to go ahead and crush their spirit, but it is what it is. You're not about to sit here and pump this person up full of lies and, and full of imagination of what may happen that's not going to happen ultimately, okay? So it's like you had to crush their spirit and let it be known, actually not interested in anything happening with you, okay? Or you had to crush their spirits by blocking them, baby. I know I crushed somebody's spirits because somebody was trying to call me a no caller ID the other night. They was calling back to back. And I'm sure it's somebody that I blocked, okay? Because I had to crush their spirits. At the end of the day, there's somebody here where you had to crush their spirits, but this is because they had, excuse me, what? Misplaced hopes, high hopes in the wrong places. There's no reason that they should have had hope here that you were going to let them in to create the same chaos, okay? That you were going to tolerate the bare minimum, okay? That you were going to tolerate mistreatment, and be welcoming of it. You're not welcoming of that. Why? Because you realize here that you, when you welcome that, your compassion is misplaced. It's misplaced towards them. And you're like, uh, no. Okay, I'm going to be compassionate with myself, right? So we got the Kuan Yin here, which is all about compassion. You are being compassionate with yourself. And you're looking at the situation like, okay, if I get back with this person or let this person back in my life just because that's what they want, then I'm going to be the one sitting around miserable upset okay and so spirit is saying here that you've gone through a rebirth and you're very grounded so now this person wants to come towards you but you've gone through a rebirth so there's no way you could be in the same energy that you was in with them before and they wasn't counting on this and so spirit is saying here that you're releasing all right yes releasing any chances of a resurrection in this connection you don't want a resurrection, okay? You know that as soon as they resurrect themselves, they be bringing along things that you don't like, misery and stress. And so you aren't going to be dealing with that. You're proudly and happily saying no to this offer to reunite, okay? And so for some of you, this could be more than one person. Because I know for me, I got a couple of them that be trying to pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up. No, no. No, thank you. I'm good, okay? So look, there's somebody that wants to reunite. I'm hearing that peaches and the herb reunited and it feels so good, but you know it's not going to feel good. And this is why you're not going to be reuniting with them and sacrificing yourself here to come back into, into connection here with this person. And so this is even reminding me, this is, this see, some of my dreams, I feel like go with the readings, right? Because I had a dream the other night that one of my exes, for some reason, I don't even know how he got in my house, okay? But he was in here, and I was pissed. I was like, the whole time, I'm like, when did he get in here, and why is he here? And I'm like, dude, I don't like you. I don't want you. I don't want you in here. And it was really strange, okay? So it's like this. It's like this is the type of person that wants to kind of intrude, okay? They just want to be back in your life, whether you want them in your life or not. And it don't seem like the offer is good or else... You would be interested in it, but there's a reason you're not interested in the offer, okay? There's a reason you're not interested. <laughs> the spirit is saying the reason is because you're looking between the lines, okay? <laughs> you looking between the lines. That's why you ain't interested. The spirit is saying here that you're not even, it's the fear card, but I don't feel like it's fear. I feel like it's more of common sense, okay? This is saying fear, but it's like you have common sense that you can't really get romantically or get feelings, emotions, whatever it may be involved with this person because you look in between the lines. You look for what's hidden. And what's hidden here is that this person brings tyranny is the word I heard, okay? And I feel like tyranny is chaos because I'm like, I don't know the exact definition. I'm gonna look it up right here on my phone but i heard the word tyranny and i know that that's some sort of chaos some sort of maniac energy okay okay it says here cruel and oppressive cruel unreasonable or arbitrary use of power or control okay yeah so this person 
is, is, is can't be trusted. They have some sort of weird control issues here. So look, Spirit is saying here that you're having the courage, the guts, the gall, all right, to be like, you know what? No, I'm not interested. Welcome to another collective with me, Duchess, where you're going to take what resonates. Leave what doesn't behind for whoever the hell is for. Yes, it's a timeless reading. And if you want to book with me or leave a donation, you can do that link below in the comments or the description box. Okay, boom. We're going to find out more spirit here. What's going on? Yeah, see, spirit saying here that this person is going to eventually go ghost because you're going to trigger their insecurities and they're going to start having low self-esteem as you release them and say, hell to the no, 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 okay? So this person can only take so much rejection at the end of the day. So they're going to try, but Spirit is saying that they're going to end up disappearing for a while or ghosting for a while as you trigger their insecurities and they lose their sense of self-esteem here when it comes to this connection. Yes. For sure. Okay. Okay. And so, look, Spirit is saying here that this person could never offer you exactly what you needed. They never could. Uh-uh. This person's toxic. They're very toxic. Very. And so, this is why there's going to be some sort of ending that's meant to be set in stone here. Because we got here that this is, this is a connection that should be stable or... or, or meant to feel solid or safe, but instead it feels unsable, unsolid, unsafe. It feels like a karmic relationship, very toxic. And so there is a need to break up here forever with this person, but I feel like that's where you're already at in your heart and soul. I'm already feeling a deep level of disinterest here when it comes to this person for sure. Okay, tell us more, Spirit. Tell us more. Yeah, this person is very upset. Yeah, because they feel like they're having to pay by you not taking them back. They're feeling like they have to... They're having to pay. Yes, okay? Because... They're realizing that they can't trick you. They can't guilt trip you. They can't do anything to get you back into their clutches. And so to them, this is like payment. It's like atonement, retribution, baby. Okay? Because we got here, this person is feeling like this is due to them somehow. I feel like this person knows they dirty. Okay? I definitely feel like whoever this person is that you're not letting back in, they know they dirty here. Definitely. Because they feel like there's some sort of atonement that's happening. And that they're trying to create an endurance, a long-term energy between you and them. But they're trying to use trickery and trying to use guilt. That's the problem. They're using the wrong energy. How about use love and compassion? How about use honesty and care? How about using positive reinforcement? You know what I'm saying? Gifts or whatever. Whatever you got to use. But this person wants to use trickery and guilt. And they and that's why you know you can't be compassionate with this type of person. This is why your compassions are placed on yourself and not them. Because you know that they're going to use this against you to get their way out of a situation that is not fair for you at all whatsoever. Mm -mm -mm. Spirit is saying that this person is going to be having a lot of struggles and a lot of little mishaps. Uh, it's going to be hard for them. This person is going to watch you for a very long time and be in their head about you for a very long time. I'm getting that this person's consorting a lot with their higher self, with source. They consorting with whoever, their spirit team, whoever the hell they talk to because they're realizing here that there's no turning back. They thought they could overcome the heaviness with just a little conversation, a little guilt, a little trickery, a little cute smiles, whatever they thought they was going to use, but you're past that. You're beyond that. You see through that BS, okay? You're, you're like, what else you got? Don't keep bringing magic tricks at the hat because I want real magic, not a damn trick, okay? And so this is what's going on is this person's realizing that they're not going to get what they want. And this is going to take a lot of strength out of them because they 
I feel like this person was overly confident in the wrong way of thinking that things were going to go back the way they wanted it to be. And so again, they're going to be in their head a lot and they're going to be doing a lot of reflecting here with source, their higher selves. They're going to be realizing here that they really messed up this time and that there's no turning back. You cannot turn back the hands of time in this situation, baby. Okay. You can like, share, comment, subscribe, follow all of that good stuff. If you want to book with me or leave a donation, you can do that linked below in the comments or the description box. You can also shop for some merch on my website. We got angel number t-shirts galore that ship internationally super affordable super comfortable super cute designed by me so go check them out baby as well as journals candles and card decks galore of course all right boo i'm talking to you later bye